Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan if you're new here and I wanted to share with you my 2022 luxury wish list. Now some of these things are actually not things at all but they are experiences that I really want to invest in. There's some like health and wellness <laughs> kind of vibes going on uh, but that'll all make sense when I share them with you. All of these things I do consider to be a huge indulgence. Many of them I haven't really spent money on before and I'd like to. So let's get into the video. The very first thing that I'm thinking of and I'm already signed up for is a Pilates class. I used to love going to local community um, yoga studios. I've never done a Pilates class in my life. I'm a little bit nervous, but there is an introductory package that I signed up for where you can do some private sessions and then some group classes. I, I'm so excited to get started and I do think it'll really help me organize my week. I work from home, I feel incredibly lucky to do so, but I have struggled over the last few years to you know, kind of ha keep a schedule going down. You know, obviously I, I do my work, I do everything I need to do, but I don't think I have been as productive as I could be and I haven't taken care of myself in the way that I did previously, if that makes sense. So I feel like having something on my calendar, you know, like I need to be here at 10 a.m., when I have those things, everything else in the day really falls into place and I'm so much more organized. So I think having this Pilates class, like obviously it'll help me take a better care of myself. I want to get a little bit stronger and it'll help everything in my week be a little bit more productive. So that is the first big treat <laughs> that I have planned for myself in 2022. Another thing is finally getting laser hair removal. I have wanted this for a really long time. I actually tried to do it 10 years ago from a not so great company that I won't mention, but it didn't work at all. And they started to close down their locations without telling their customers because they were going out of business until they ended up like rebranding and op I think they declared bankruptcy and they renamed themselves something else. However, that worked, but that was, yeah, that was like, 12 years ago or something and I, I've i been so hesitant to try it again, but I'm going to be doing this through my dermatologist's office. I have an appointment this week and I have a facial then following. So we will see how that goes. But again, things like facials, I never spent money on them. I'm also planning on doing a few more pedicures throughout the year. Never like to spend money on things like that, but I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll, kind of much like the Pilates. One, it'll be a really nice treat to myself. And two, I'll have something scheduled in my calendar to look forward to. And then I expect I'll be much more productive throughout the rest of the day, just because that's how I usually am. There is one more thing before I get into the things portion of this list, and that is to take some kind of language class by July. That's the deadline I've given myself. I've wanted to learn French for years. I went to Paris, maybe it was, seven years ago. Yeah. No, maybe. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, time flies. Anyway, <laughs> I went to Paris seven years ago, but I was in that comfort of a really large group where some people spoke French. And so I was able to kind of just get by with ordering coffees and saying, I'm sorry. Um, but I really don't want to, I don't want to be in that position again. I want to learn enough French. Um, hopefully a lot <laughs> of French, um, but I want to be comfortable and polite uh, when I go again. Um, so hopefully that will get set up. I either want to do a community class or something online. I know that there's a really, uh, there's so many great online resources. They always say that if you can dedicate 15 hours a, a week to learning a language, you can learn so much in a year. And that can be everything from like, having a podcast on even though you don't understand it just like hearing the sounds repeatedly like having a podcast on or a television show a movie whatever it is and along with doing like vocab exercises and a private tutor potentially i i think i think this could be good i all of these things they're all just about giving me structure to my week uh things that will bring obviously a lot more satisfaction than like adding a new bag. Um, 
that's just me personally, but that is, yeah, that is the last experience, the last uh, self-improvement, I don't know, kind of category. Okay, now on to the stuff. Now, all the other things I would say are pretty much set in stone. I'm committed to doing them this year. This stuff is gonna be a little bit more flexible because I generally don't know what I want until I see it. Even with just seeing pictures online, like when I try something on, on, on in person, I know immediately. And something that I learned last year about myself was if I need to debate it for weeks, months it's just not for me that's just the way i am i know everybody's different but for example i tried on the lady dior dozens of times i wanted to want this bag so badly but it's i i think it's just not for me whatever it is and i just think it's so beautiful so i wanted to have it but i would keep going back into the boutique with different outfits on and it just never felt right for whatever reason whatever it is that makes a bag feel comfortable and right on you when you see it and you're like yes that's me um this just wasn't so i have finally learned that about myself <laughs> some bags that are on my wish list assuming they happen there is a bottega i think it's like a mini cassette i'll have pictures when i can but there is a little mini bag from Bottega that I love the look of. It looks so cool and just really chill. A lot of my other micro bags are quite dainty and girly. This one's a little bit more cool, a little bit more relaxed, and they have it in fun colors like green and bright pink. Oh, and I am looking down at my list, so I apologize if I'm looking down. Um, there's also a Velextra bag that I love the look of. They have it in this bright uh, green color. I think that will be really cool. and. Their micros are a little bit bigger than some of these other teeny, teeny, tiny micros. It might fit my phone. I think it will. I'd really like it if it did. But I've thought about getting a Velextra for another Velextra for a while now because I love my first one so much. Because I can only get them online, I, I tend to wait. I, I always hesitate with online purchases. But I know that you can get them from places like Neiman Marcus. Nordstrom used to carry them, but I don't know if they still do or at least... The full line i like that i can just walk that back into store and return in person if i have to i hate doing online returns it makes me quite nervous i just feel like i'm sending it out into the universe and what if something happens and then who would be responsible for it am i like responsible for that money like not being returned i i don't know because i've had several shipping issues in the last 12 months so i digress <laughs> that's a whole other thing but I have thought about getting another Velextra and I think, I think I'd like to. Next on my list is a pair of Prada platforms. This is something that I've also debated for a while, but I just haven't wanted to spend the money. I love the look of the black suede Prada platforms. I really like having that little extra height. I personally think that I have shorter legs relative to my top. So getting just those couple extra inches, I really, like how that looks on me. I don't know, for whatever reason, I just do. So I have seen people have their Prada platforms for well over a decade and, and they look great. I think that's a really well-made shoe. Out of my Prada shoes, they're so comfortable. I think they're, I think they are way more comfortable than Manola Blahniks, especially if you have wider feet like me. So that is something I wanted to mention. I would love to get a pair and I think it'll be dictated when I can potentially get some amount of money off. I still do have uh, trouble spending that amount on a pair of shoes, but I think I could get maybe even just 40 bucks off. It's, even if it's just small, I, I would like to add a pair of Prada platforms this year. Next on my list is a colorful coat of some sort, uh, hopefully something with a pattern. I love coats. <laughs> I try to be realistic in my wish list because there are things that I'm just always going to want every single year. For example, something from Chanel, but we'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> I would like to add some kind of colorful patterned coat, um, preferably like a light wool coat, something that will be suitable, like either layered up in the winter or in fall and spring. That's just something I will be on the lookout for. Another general category, I would really like to start looking more at Loewe and Mulberry. They have 
beautiful leather bags, really understated, high quality, not too in your face, and they can be super casual or dressed up, like just depending on what style you get from them. But I have, I've been really interested in these brands for a few years now, but just haven't wanted to put the money there, partly because with all the Chanel price increases, like while I could afford it and while there were styles I was really excited about, I wanted to put my money towards those bags. And that's kind of, you know, it's not fair to Loewe. <laughs> Loewe is beautiful and they haven't been hiking up their prices like crazy. Their customers are treated really well. Their leather is beautiful. So I, I do really want to start paying more attention to brands like Loewe and Mulberry. Those are just the two that I am, have been thinking most about because I love their designs. I love the feel of their leather. And I believe that there are stores in New York that I might try to go to throughout the year. Well, yeah, we'll see and I'll keep you posted. Oh, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, that is where I tend to be a little bit better about updating things like when I go on shopping trips or when I get to looking at things in store. So um, yeah, I'll definitely be posting on stories as I yeah, try things on. Just a few more things on my list. I can't remember if I said this in this video already because there have been a bunch of failed attempts that hopefully through editing magic you won't see anything of. Cats have been screaming, there have been noises outside, it's been a whole thing. So sometimes I forget if I've said things like in this version of the video or if that was in a previous version that didn't quite work out. <laughs> But I am going to be turning 30 at the end of this year and I would like to have some fun money saved up. Like I don't want to use it all in the first half of the year because sometimes I do that. I want to show more restraint and just have a pocket of that money that I don't touch or I save it up so that when I turn 30, I can get myself something special like a piece of jewelry. There are a few things on my radar, but like I'm not quite settled yet because I'm sure I will know as soon as I go in store and see the thing, but I would like to pick myself up a piece of special jewelry to celebrate. I'd also would really like to see my friends and family. <sighs> um, I, I haven't had a birthday party, <laughs> maybe since I was like 16, but I really like the idea of like getting an Airbnb for a long weekend and just having a nice little secluded gathering. I really like the idea of that, but we'll see if that happens. Obviously, that's just something I want to keep in mind as I'm saving up throughout the year. So the next few things <laughs> that, I, that I'm sure of, um, I have been eyeing the Fendi charms. I really like them. They're so little dinky and cute, but um, it's going to be either between like a Fendi charm or a Fendi baguette. I've been eyeing the baguettes more and more. Maybe it's just because I, I like my peekaboo. I don't know, but I uh, see this isn't very specific, but I'll try to have pictures of things that I'm, I'm interested in. I would like to save a pocket of money like for a Fendi bag and then a Chanel bag. I have been debating getting one more classic. I don't know if that will happen. I don't know if like I'm going to go into boutique find a color I actually like, because obviously that's not you know, easier said than done, right? I don't know if when that time comes, even if I find a color I'm absolutely smitten over, if I will be able to spend that amount of money for what they cost now. Because my small classic flap when I bought it only a year and a half ago, uh, you know, just under two years ago, it was 5,800. Still a lot of money for a Chanel bag, but a lot less than what they cost now. So I have no idea what will happen when I am in store and to see if I will be able to buy it. But basically I try to budget out my fun money for the whole year after I figure out how much we have to spend on rent, food, thinking about inflation, thinking about how much we wanna save up for vacations and then just our general savings goals. I always look at what I have left over and I would like to take some portion of that and just have it available, depending on what kind of bags are available in my local boutique. I would like to pick up some kind of Chanel card holder, preferably like yeah, one of the caviar flap card holders. I think that would be a really nice addition to my SLG collection because I really do not have very many. But those are the, the two brands, like the luxury brands that I would like to continue adding to. So there's actually two things that I would like to get your opinion on. I have been debating a Burberry trench and Burberry scarf purchase 
for ages. <laughs> it, it's the thing that is on everybody's like, how to start your luxury collection list. Like I, I, and it totally makes sense. And I am a coat person. I love coats. They make me so excited, but it would be the most amount of money I've ever spent on a coat. <laughs> but I have debated it for a while. If you have one, like, do you think they're worth it? I have a Brooks Brothers trench with a wool removable liner. It's beautiful. It was less than 400, it was less than $300 because it was on sale. I think it was like 50% off, but it's beautiful. And knowing that I was able to get that for significantly less money, it's always been hard for me to justify getting the Burberry trench, but it's the Burberry trench. I just, I, uh, I'd like your opinion if you have any thoughts on that. It's something I've considered for a while and I always have a fantastic time when I go into the Burberry store. It is that kind of thing where I'm like, well, you just have to buy one and then that's it. I know that they'll actually replace the lining if you get it in store, which is one benefit to getting it in the Burberry boutique versus the Burberry outlet. That's only, that's just what I've been told from ISA, but, They'll actually change out the lining for you. They'll change out the buttons. They'll do repairs and all that stuff. Whereas supposedly you don't get those same benefits if you get it in boutique. So I think that is everything. I really just want to spend more money on basic everyday things. You know, like this is a simple J. Crew t-shirt. It cost me $10 in the sale. I live in joggers every single day. You know, I, I want to spend more money um, on things that will uplift my week. <laughs> and for the most part, you know, as much as I loved the handbags I bought the, uh, last year, the things that really improved my life, like it's that basic cotton bathrobe or my comfy joggers, my lounge bras, the things that I bought, that is the stuff that has really just made my everyday life more pleasant and I want to focus in on those things this year. There is certainly still going to be the glitzy purchases and the fun unboxings um, and I would love to know if you have anything on your luxury wish list. Have you ever taken a language course? Was there anything that really helped you? Any feedback about Burberry trenches? Um, what else? Oh, is there any kind of special jewelry piece that you've gotten so much joy out of because Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking I want some kind of ring. I'm not really a bracelet person. A bracelet person. I don't know why. I just they they bother me. It took me a while to get used to rings, but I've never been a bracelet or watch person. Um, sorry, did I say watch? Not bracelet. I I don't know. I it's almost time for lunch, so I'm gonna go eat after I make this video. Uh, but if you have any recommendations for special earrings or rings, I would love to know. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.